Good afternoon and thank you for your time. My name is Zach Smith and I'm here to speak to you about the digital learning tool that I use frequently in my classroom and that tool is Kahoot. Kahoot is a digital learning tool that allows teachers to create uh, trivia games or quizzes that are interactive, fun, and very easy to create. I am a high school social studies teacher. I find myself frequently using Kahoot. However, I've seen it used in math classrooms at the middle school level. I've seen it used in elementary school rooms as well. It's fun and it's easy to use. I'm going to walk you through Kahoot, how to sign up for it, how to create a Kahoot, and an example of a Kahoot. Please be patient with me as I am going to be walking out of frame frequently though. So first, you go to Kahoot.com and you need to sign up. Again, it is free. Signing up, you can do it as a teacher. Students can create their own Kahoots. You can also do it as a social experiment, like a trivia night with your friends. You would sign up as a teacher. You can sign up through Google if you're signed into Google Classroom. It's quite easy. I'm going to go ahead and go to my home page for Kahoot and show you exactly how to create a Kahoot. And it looks something like this. Logging in. By the way, once you log in and start creating Kahoots, they save. And with respect to the Kahoots, here are, is a list of some of the ones I have made already. Bill of Rights, World War II, the Presidency, FDR and the New Deal, amongst many others. But creating one is quite simple. All you have to do is go to Create New. And you can create different things. A survey, you can do a jumble, or what I frequently do, quizzes. For a quiz, I would just simply give it a title. I already have one over World War II, so World War I. I can post an image on here. I can describe it. And OK, go. From here, I would add questions. They give me multiple options as far as creating questions. Frequently, what I will use are the multiple choice options of A, B, C, or D. You can set time limits as well for answering the questions, 20 seconds. However, it can be as short as five seconds or as long as two minutes if necessary. You would simply type a question in here. When did World War I start? Question mark. And then you put your various answers in here. A, B, C, MD, you put the correct answer in there, A, if you so choose. And from there, you would continue on to add as many questions as you'd like. You, I have cahoots that go for 10 questions if it's just something real quick, exit out of class, or perhaps a bell ringer. Or sometimes I'll do it for a full review for perhaps a, an EOC or a map test, or uh, for a review for a final, perhaps. Once you've created a cahoot, students can log in. And it is free, and they can use their mobile devices on this. And frequently, whenever I assign a Kahoot, that's exactly what they do, is they will use their phones for this. It's a great opportunity for kiddos because most of them have their phones. They want to use their phones in class. It allows them an opportunity to get it out and not be you know, feel punished for having the phone out in class. So here's an example of a Kahoot that I've created over the presidency. We would hit the play button, and it gives us options as far as classic, which is the format that I usually use, which allows for individual players to play, or it also allows for a team versus team if you want to break classes up into two different sides. I use classic most frequently. The kids would go to kahoot.it, and they're given a number. They type in this number, and it connects them to Kahoot. They're allowed to log in with a name, any name they want. So, so there I am. I'm logged in. And... 
away we go. I have 25 questions for this Kahoot. We're not going to go through all 25 questions. I just want to show you the format, what it looks like. The president is the leader of the blank branch. Your options are federal, legislative, executive, or judicial. If you answered executive by clicking on the blue square, congratulations, you're correct. Points are given for the faster that you log in and answer. I answered and got 474 points out of it. Yay me. Moving on to question number two. The president is limited to blank terms in office. My options are four, eight, six, and two. Let's answer this one incorrectly to see what happens. Ah, whoops. Doesn't look good for yours truly. The answer in fact was two. And I don't lose points. However, I didn't earn any points either. Ultimately, when it's all said and done, person with the most points is the winner. And frequently what I'll do is I'll offer some sort of a reward, candy bar, or maybe if I'm feeling generous, perhaps some extra credit. More often than not, it's something that it's not going to be you know, very impactful for them. Keep them interested, uh, but not make it something that's going to be you know, earth shattering or grade changing. But that in essence, is what Kahoot is. I enjoy using it. The kids enjoy being part of it. They get, it's very, very competitive. It's amazing whenever I look over there and I see 28 high school students, all of them just engaged 100% on their phones, answering as fast as they can, trying their best because they, they want to win. They're competitive and it's, and it's fun. It is very engaging. And uh, it's, it's a tool that can be used, like I said, at any level, high school, middle school, grade school. It can go across any uh, curriculum, science, social studies, language arts. Uh, it's a great tool. I highly recommend it. I know that I personally, uh, my classroom wouldn't be the same without it. So I would highly encourage you, if you're interested in it, uh, do some further exploration. It's called Kahoot. You go to Kahoot.com. There's more information on there. Again, it's 100% free and 100% fun. Thank you very much for your time. Have a great day.